Well, friends, I have gathered you here today to do something that no 28-year-old woman should ever do. And what is that? Try on kids' clothes. Oh, yes. <coughs> yes, I am almost 29. I'm not even a fresh 28. I'm like on the tail end where I'm like, thank God I still have a few more months to claim I'm 28 because 29 means I only have one more year left and the hellhole that is my 20s. So I don't know why I'm holding on to it so passionately, but you know, it's just something mental. I'm gonna try on kids' clothes. Look, I'm 4'11". If you've ever watched a single one of my videos, you know that because I mention it a lot. Why, you might ask? That's a great question. I actually get asked a lot. Uh, number one, because short queens need representation and I'm here to provide that. And number two, uh, because nine times out of 10, the first thing people say when they meet me is, oh my God, you're tiny. Wow, you're so short. Wow, I didn't expect you to be that small. It's like, without fail, one of the first thing, not like random people, that would be weird, but people who know me from social media who meet me. I like to think it's because um, I might have a short stature, but a tall personality. The other might just be because you can't tell height from photos and videos alone. And the moment I'm next to people, that's when people notice. When I do collabs, that's when people are like, ah. I'll always, without fail, see comments that are like, you know, she says she's short, but I didn't realize she's that short. I'm that short. I am that kind of short. I am the average height of an 11 to 12 year old. So that's where I'm sitting. Can you stand back in the middle? I don't, where's the middle? There. So sorry, I was slightly off center. <laughs> I also happen to be blind and therefore can't see the camera in front of me. You're blind? Have I not mentioned that? Crap. Yeah. That's it's, pretty serious. No, it's pretty rough. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's it's not it's ideal. Challenging. Yeah, did you notice I actually have a dog? This little guy down here. Yeah. He's supposed to help me though. Earlier he did trip me and I fell and lost my entire snack to the floor. But he was a good boy, he didn't eat it. I think it's because he felt guilty that he tripped me. <laughs> Uh, I'd like to think it's simply because he's highly trained not to take the food, but I think it was mostly because he was like, whoops, ooh, I'm not supposed to do that. I told him it's a one strike rule. He gets one chance to trip mommy, then he's out of here. You know what I'm saying? So I think I speak for all short girls when I say that people, whenever we talk about the struggle of finding clothes that fit us, say, well, at least you can wear kids' clothes because they're cheaper. So I'm here to test that theory. Um, I do follow a girl on TikTok who is in fact 4'11", and she gets kids' clothes from Zara. Now, I want to note, I can't see her. We all know that. So she might be a more straight up and down build, which would be more of like a, you know, shape of a child. But there are adult grown women of all heights that do have that body, that do have a more straight up and down build. I am not that girl. I've got hips, butt, and thighs. Always have, always will. At my smallest, at my heaviest, I will always be curvy. I will always be a pear shape. That, my friends, is not the shape of a child. The average woman has a hip to waist ratio of 10 inches. And then whenever you see a jean or a pant that says curve or curvy in front of it, it generally will be a 12 inch difference or larger. And that is why you will see like a size zero that says curve jean, but it's a size zero. It's because it's for a hip to waist ratio that is larger than the 10 inch standard of a woman's body. As I said, that's kind of the average is the 10 inches. There are women with a straight up and down body and there are women with a far curvier body or ratio of hip to waist. Uh, 10 is just the size medium human version. I have the 10 inch difference. That is like where I generally sit is a 10 inch difference between my hip to waist. Now the shortest part of my body is my torso. I'm basically like just belly button and boobs. That's my entire torso. And I will admit it's minimal boob, but that's all I'm working with. I've got like no torso. My height is in my legs to the point where like a lot of my friends that are 5'4", or 5'3", we actually have the same like height of leg. Our leg length is the same. Their torso just continues and <laughs> mine said, hell no, she halted where she's at. Oh, and I feel like this context is important. 4'11", size five to six foot. And I'm generally wearing about a size two on the bottom right now and a size zero on the top. My biggest struggle with finding clothes is generally my leg length 
Now where this becomes an issue is that that's also where my curves are. So where kids clothes would benefit me is like flared jeans, flared leggings, because when I buy the adult size ones, I even petites, because petites go up to 5'3", sometimes it still doesn't work for me. A lot of it is, and not to mention, petites are super rare. They're just like not that common, especially in real life stores, like more online stores have them, but in real life, it's not that common. But I almost always, every time I get a flared pant, which I love a flare, love a flare. Always have, always will. Uh, but the moment I hem it, the flare is gone. So now I have these awkward pants that have like the tiniest flare right about at my like ankle and it just looks stupid. So I hate that. And dresses, I always have to get dresses hemmed and that sucks when it has like a pretty hemline and then I have to chop it off to, you know, make it fit me. Tops, I almost exclusively buy crop tops because they end up being a normal length on me. So that's an easy fix for that. One pro is I can get away with literally wearing a bralette as a shirt because it just looks like a crop top because I have no torso. My shoe size is a size three kids, five women. So I do sometimes size up to a four or a six. In high heels, I like to wear a five because your foot slides forward and then you get the awkward gap that makes you look like you're wearing your mom's shoes. Only my small footed women will understand. So usually heels and like loafers and stuff, I will stick to the true five, but for boots and sneakers, I'll often go to a five and a half or a six. Now, what a lot of people don't realize aside from the issue of many adult women like myself who are short still having curves, whether it be on the bottom like me or on the top, and kids clothes don't accommodate those. The hip to, weight, hip to waist ratio for kids clothes is usually like around a seven inch difference. And also they don't accommodate the up top stuff or like where your hips begin to curve. It has more of a straight cut versus women's clothes usually have a curved cut to the tops as well to accommodate the hips. But also on top of that struggle, kids clothes and shoes are made cheaper um and this is like a known thing especially shoes the quality is less so yes i can buy a size kids ugg converse vans but the quality is lower it's not as high quality and that's an issue because you're gonna wear the shoe out a lot faster. Even the kids Birkenstocks and kids Bluntstones and kids Doc Martens, which are all like good for your feet type of shoes are less quality in the kids version. So if you're buying it for it to be like a good stable shoe for your foot, it isn't as good quality. And the reason they do that is because kids feet grow so fast. And so they know kids aren't going to wear them long enough to wear out the soles of their shoes. So they don't make them as high quality. But us women with fully grown feet, who still happen to be a size of a kids. We will wear our shoe out because we're gonna wear it for years to come. So if you are somebody who has a million pairs of shoes in your closet and you're buying them knowing you would never wear them out because you're just not gonna wear them often enough, then yeah, buy the kids version. But if you only have two or three pairs of shoes in your closet, you've got your Converse, you've got your Uggs to keep your feet warm in the winter, like you should probably actually still just buy the adult sizing because what's gonna happen is sure, you're gonna get a savings up front, but you're gonna have to replace them more often. So it's gonna cost more in the long run. On top of that, kids high heels, yeah, basically doesn't exist. Um, and trust me, the girls who want and need the heels, it's us, it's us down here. All of these companies now like Uggs, Converse Vans, they um, all have platform. And once again, they do not make the platform version. Mostly like most of those brands don't make platform versions of the kids shoes. So again, we are the ones who want the platform, us right here. So you just end up buying the adult version anyways. So my point is people seem to think we've got this like gold mine of saving money, but it's, it's not true. Um, and I'm probably gonna prove that to you today, but I might not, I might be surprised and I might find some goodies that fit. And if that's the case, I'm excited. Now I did look at the sizing chart and I ordered a size 14. I am the height of an 11 to 12 year old. So the leg length for that age range was the correct size for me, but there was no way my hip to waist situation was gonna agree with that. So I was like, you know what? I usually wear heels or platforms. So the size 14 will give me a little bit more of a chance of fitting the hip to waist situation and can accommodate a platform or heeled shoe. So I thought size 14 made the most sense. Now my mom went to Nordstrom and bought some stuff at the Nordstrom kids section. I haven't seen that. And then I ordered some stuff on Zara and by me, I mean, I sat there while my mom picked things out and kind of described them to me. I haven't felt any of it and I'm about to get into it. 
But before I do, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, ThreadUp. Now, if you cannot fit into kids' clothes, but you also don't want to pay full price retail, ThreadUp is the place for you. ThreadUp is the world's largest online thrift store with over 40,000 brands, and they add new product every single day. It's good for the planet. It's good for your wallet because you save money and you give life to used clothes. It's fun because you can get like one of, one of a kind, not one of a kind, but like things that you're just not gonna find when you go to the big stores anymore. For example, these pants that I'm wearing, yeah, um, I used to own them in black and then my mom donated them. <clears throat> I'll accept your apology. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. But I actually found them years later on ThreadUp in a different color, mind you, but the same pants. So that was pretty exciting. I'm gonna have the ThreadUp pricing and the estimated retail pricing listed on screen and down below, and you can use code MOLLY30 to get 30% off your first order on top of the existing deals you're already getting, plus free shipping, but the savings do end. So don't just leave the coupon code sitting around. Get to it. These pants are from LA and they are like these rainbow stripe pastel, not pastel, they're bright, uh, and gray, kind of loose leg. They're very comfy. And then I have it paired with this spiritual gangster top. What does it say, Neve? Let's see. Uh, the future is love. So positive. And it's like this oversized tee, so thin, so comfy. I really love this tee. And both of these pieces were under $20 and both of these brands are very expensive. This sweater I am so excited about. It is a knit, it's perfect for the fall winter weather and it's this Madewell sweater. It's cream with this heart that's half burnt orange and half like a mauve pink. So stinking cute and I paired it with these pants that are my one of my favorite finds I've had to date. These are from J. Crew. They are new with tags. And they're these like cargo esque pants, but comfy. I will not wear anything that's not comfortable anymore. I just won't do it. If it doesn't have stretch, I'm not going to do it. The last time I wore jeans, couldn't tell you. Um, it has a stretchy waistband, but it has like the pockets down the side, it has scrunchy ankles, loose leg. These are phenomenal. Obsessed. And then I got this Marc Jacobs graphic tee that I just thought was honestly so stinking cute. Maybe this is actually a princess from something, and if it is, you can let me know because I don't watch Disney movies. Um, but it's like a princess graphic tee from Marc Jacobs, which again, very expensive brand. It feels like such nice quality, and I got it for a great price. Molly 30, save yourself 30 bucks, save the planet, shop sustainably. Now onto the kids' clothes. What do we have over here? Ooh. Hi. Okay, so I got this jacket. Now jackets aren't usually an issue for me. I mean, the arms can be a little long. The torso, like the length can be a little long, but I make it work, I like to think. I don't think this is going to like, I think this is gonna fit me. Like, I think it'll be great. This is a situation where I feel like I could actually save money. You know, like, this is probably cheaper and they probably have an adult's version. I was trying to look for... Oh, it's quite cute actually. Right? Yeah. And I actually, look at that length. And the price was really good. Wait, do you see that length? Yes. Oh, it's perfect. Perfect. Ooh, yes. She's perfect. That's a nice little Shoulder. Jacket. Yeah. Perfect. Look at me. Not bad. Miss grade eight. <laughs> it's when I was 14 anyways. It was in grade eight. What color is it, Mom? It's a lovely... Um, brown light brown and then the inside of course like a sheepskin now this faux. does feel like the quality that their adult one would be do you remember the price i think it was around 60? i think it was around 60 bucks we'll, and we'll double check and put things on the screen part of me feels like they would sell this for 60 bucks to women but part of me feels like they sell it's it for 90. Yeah. maybe i'll try to find a comparable one in the women's section of zara pop it up here with the price and written down below so that way we can compare what they would sell the women's version for, but this is super cute. I was trying to find kids' clothes that didn't look like kids' clothes, because again, that's another issue. Like, a lot of kids' retailers aren't gonna sell blazers. So and what was... are like our office, short office girlies doing? You know what I mean? And your best bet is online because when I went into the Zara Children's, there really wasn't very much in the bigger sizes, hardly anything. Yeah. Zara Kids uh, definitely seems to have like adult looking clothes. Some of it looks very childish, but a lot of it sounds like this, like 
You would never know. Actually, that this the was price his. tag is on it. Do you want me to read it? Give us the price, Neve. Sixty-nine ninety. Age thirteen to fourteen. Oh, this is cute. I think this is cute because it's textured so I can feel it. It's a good size too. It looks quite big. And that goes with leggings, right? Now yeah. this, I did get the size 12. Is the, it 12 or 14? No, I think I got the 11, 12. Yeah, you do. Because they said when we went to add it to the cart, it says, warning, this runs oversized. Yeah. So I was like, okay, I'm going to get the, and this will definitely fit me. That's really cute. I'll be back in a second to try it on. I mean, this with my Prada loafers, I feel like would be a cute outfit. It definitely fits me the way, I, like the length that I would want. It's like a t-shirt dress, sweater dress situation. So it has like a fake built-in collar. collar. This is textured velvet. And it's some kind of... It says of... the University of My Dreams Athletics. Yeah, I'm, I'm so athletic and went to university. <laughs> I'm sorry, a six-year-old wearing this? The university might you're six i know this one's 11 and 12 but like come on you're six this comes in sizes like five and six they have a university of their dreams at five and six well they they, they do wear stuff like that molly yeah but it's kind of weird no <laughs> does anyone else think that's weird i'm not gonna keep most of this like most of this i will return and i think i will return this just because i don't feel like my closet needs it and i will not hold on to things for no reason i've gotten a lot better over the past few years like, I'll even go shopping and not buy anything, you guys. That's okay. big for me. And so I'm not going to keep this because I don't need it. It's cute. Like, if you did like this and you were the same size as me and you wanted a sweater dress because usually these things are so long on me and I feel stupid tailoring a sweater dress. But if I don't tailor it, then it's like past my knees and not even cute anymore. So, all right, we're getting to the good stuff, you guys. The leggings. Pants. With a little sparkle. These are a flared Oops, pant. Yeah. See, that's the type of thing. It's flared right at the bottom there. Has a little cute little split detail. That would get chopped right off. And then guess what? You just have a normal legging. That's not cute. These are velvet and sparkly. Kind of fun. I won't lie, they don't feel like the best quality, but they were 25 bucks. They do seem teeny. Maybe we'll stretch to accommodate. Um, these are the 13, 14. Yeah, they are. Yeah. They do look quite tiny. Does that look tiny? Yeah. We're gonna give it a go together, you guys. These are small. Oh, whoop, I heard a. And here's the other thing with kids' clothes, is they're usually not high-waisted. And I know the high-waisted is out, but I don't care. I want my leggings to be high-waisted and potentially even a little compressive. Let's see them. And kids' clothes aren't made like that. They're actually quite cute. I like the, the leg. The, I love like the, the, leg. the gap. Yeah. Like that's cute. See, these are what I want to get in out sizes. <laughs> so the leg fits. Okay, my fellow short queens, tell me what petites do you like? Like what store sells petites, whether in life or online, that you like that are good? Where I can get some cute flared leggings, cute flared pants, cute split hem legs that I don't end up just chopping off when I take it to the tailor. They fit enough that I could keep them if I wanted. Yeah. I feel like if these were in a size 16, be perfect. they'd be perfect. Abercrombie goes up to a 16. So I could probably get something like this from Abercrombie. Because the thing is, I, I do want to put heels on with these. Yeah. And then I could add more length. I'm so excited to see this yeah. one. Yeah. Final thing from Zara. Oh my goodness. This was my mom's uh, this was my pick favorite. favorite. If she finds something with Snoopy, you guys. Oh, look. Or any of the Snoopy characters, she just like. I melt. She melts. I love that one. She's just such a stan. That's adorable. Um, I might keep this. Yeah. This fits perfect. I love it. It has that perfect, like, oversized look. It's really soft. It's just like a crew neck. It's adorable. And it has, it's tactile as well, which I yeah. like. Yeah. Stitched. So like, it's real stitched stitchy. stitched in. I got the. Size 13, 14, and how much was this one? This guy was 22.90. Cute, oh my God, okay. Let's move on to Nordstrom. All right, you guys, we've got a Christmas dress. This is very Christmas vibes. I actually really like it. It's like a pleated chiffonish vibe skirt, crinoline type of situation, and then a velvet top. Has a little keyhole at the back. What color is it? It's a beautiful burgundy wine color. Oh. 
very Christmassy. Christmassy. Yeah. I was right. And that is size 16, $64. It seems... It doesn't look like a size 16. That does not look like a 16. No. I'm confused. Like, I feel like the average 16-year-old is much taller than I yeah. am. And this is not very... That looks more like a 12. This, thank you. I would agree. Or 14 max. I do feel like most um, like 12 and 13-year-olds are actually bigger than me. And most of them, I feel like, just shop at adult stores now. I feel like, I feel like they need to adjust the kid's sizing. Okay. Actually, that's quite nice. This is cute. Like, I mean, this is something I could see them selling in an adult size. Mm -hmm. Like, nothing about this to me screams it's a child's dress. That said, I would need a smaller size. It is, like, significantly too big. Right, right. Like... Down to the... I would need the 14. 14, for sure. yeah. Because it's just too big everywhere. If this was a 14, I think this is super cute. If you needed a holiday dress. That is lovely. And you didn't want to spend a ton of money. Like. Wow, that's super cute on you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I actually like, I would fully wear this. Yeah. But this is, the neckline is. Too big, yeah. Not, because it's supposed to be a mock neck. But because it's loose, it kind of. Yeah. It's just awkward. It's not bad though. Yeah, but I'd like this to give me shape. Oh, yeah. Right? So if it was... A bit more fitted? Like that? Yeah. Then I have a bit more shape. Mm-hmm. You know? Cute, though. Right. Colors lovely on you. Next. Um, I feel you deserve to know I don't have pants on. I do have underwear on, though. There is that. But this is a Christmas... I love it. T-shirt. Raised like by sleeve, elves. Long sleeve top. Which is kind of true in your case. <laughs> We used to call our house the Elf House or the um, Hobbit, House. Hobbit House. So the length, you know. Mm, so, so. I think the thing is, too, I'm used to wearing things that are too big for me. Ah, uh, yeah. That it's, like, weird when things fit me. Like, when my arms are down, that's, like, where it, like, it should hit, you know? But I'm used to wearing things that are too big for me, so it's kind of strange to wear things that fit. Also, I think we can all agree Elf is the best Christmas movie of all time. It is a classic. I still remember in 2003 seeing it in theaters. Thank you. I feel like I'm eight and going to summer camp. <laughs> like if I had a bucket hat on, don't get me wrong, I love a bucket hat, but if I had a bucket hat on a lunchbox with Dora the Explorer on it, the, the neckline alone, it's like up here. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love a high neckline, but not like a V-neck that's high. <laughs> I like a rounded high neck or like a low V. This is so awkward. The pants are like weird. I don't like I don't like anything about this. <laughs> I've got to complete the look with my matching sweater, you guys. In case it gets chilly at camp by the campfire. Kumbaya. <laughs> <laughs> Kumbaya. It's cute otherwise. Kumbaya, <laughs> kumbaya. I miss you. Are you allowed so to sing in my YouTube? parents pick me up? <laughs> Kids, fabric's so cheap. Like, I like Nordstrom, but my god, guys, stuff feels so cheap. Let me tell you, I can feel the hips in this one. <laughs> they are, um, the booty is popping, okay? In this, in this little PJ set. Now, pajamas, I do often have issue with the length like when i get women's pajamas they're too long and again it's like i feel so stupid tailoring pajamas but uh, i am the person who goes walking my dog in my pajamas in the morning and at night Look, um, this so will make do... you feel better throw on this okay thank you i do need a confidence boost right now i feel like a sausage <laughs> <laughs> it's so fun i'm not gonna let this feel make me feel bad about myself because i shouldn't fit kids clothes so it's not like a i'm not gonna be like me like the clothes are supposed to fit me. I'm not supposed to fit the clothes. <laughs> <laughs> and all this right. is all size 14, I believe. It's not, let me see. This, is, bring, bring it over. this is too small for most 14-year-olds. This is 14, 16. This is not. Yeah. This is not 14, 16. Maybe it's meant to be a three-quarter length sleeve. What robe is three-quarter length sleeve? Oh, God, the fabric is so not breathable. As I get older, you guys... My body's tolerance for acrylic fabrics goes down. I get so sweaty. I can't buy pajamas now that aren't like 100% cotton, basically. Because I'll just be sweating like a beast. And I don't, I'm not a sweater. Okay, I don't really sweat much. But put an acrylic knit on me or a, an acrylic pajama set. 
your girl is sweaty. Yeah, I literally feel like I'm like one of the Pillsbury Doughboy, you know, like, or pops. This makes me feel like when it's like two months till Christmas and you've outgrown your pajamas, but your parents are like, it's, you'll get a new pair at Christmas. You know, like, so they won't buy you a new, just me. <laughs> you know, so you're kind of like the last few months, you're walking around with pajamas that like are a little too short for you. Or you're at like your friend's sleepover and you spill chocolate milk on your pajamas. So they give you like an old pair that's laying around and you're like, my friend is so much smaller than me, which I was always the small friend, but you get what I'm saying. It's a no. It's a no, all of it's a no, most of it's a no. Um, Snoopy is a yes and the first jacket is a yes and the dress, if I got a 14, would be a yes. Um, like those are the things that I'm like, okay, yeah, they seem like they could be sold in an adult size. Um, the quality on all of this, I would say for the most part feels slightly lower, except I would say the jacket and the Snoopy top. Those are the only two things where I'm like, yeah, I feel like they would sell this for a similar quality for maybe 15 to 20 bucks more for the adult size. Mostly this is a no. I will continue to buy adult size clothing because I am in fact an adult. And to everybody who constantly tells petite women that at least we can buy kids clothes, now you see why for the most part, most of us cannot because the styles are mostly a no uh, and the quality is not as good. So give me petite clothing store recommendations because by God, I want a flared leg that I don't have to chop off the bottom of. Ooh. And by the way, ThreadUp does have kids clothes, so you can always shop kids clothes on ThreadUp for your little ones who are actually children, uh, or for yourself. They've got men's, they've got maternity. My God, if I ever make the mistake of having, <laughs> no, if I ever did get pregnant and was like, woo, uh, I would get my maternity clothes on ThreadUp because why would you pay full price for maternity clothes that you're gonna wear for a few months? Not worth it. So definitely check that out. They've got stuff that's new with tags. They've got designer stuff. They've got stuff from every store you could possibly imagine pretty much on there. So check it out. You can use code Molly30 to get 30% off your first order plus free shipping, but it does expire. So use it before it's too late. Until next time, I am going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I have to take this off. Okay. Just here, you can watch this clothing video um, or you can watch this one over here. Thanks guys. See you next time.